Hello, today we're going to take a look at how to make some complex material assignments using digital material mixes within GrabCAD. So first off, let's add the model. Um, this is an assembly, so we go to add STL as assembly. And uh, here are all the various parts that make up this assembly. So simply select them all and go open. Now, the uh, next thing to do is to make sure that I have the correct materials loaded in the printer uh, or selected for um, uh, assignment that I uh, require for this model. So we go first to tray settings and here are the materials that are loaded and we can go to change to make any alterations that may be required. So for this job I'm going to need the uh, Agilus 30 clear materials and I also want my vivid materials. If there are any materials here that I did not want I could simply select them, go remove selected and then go to this list here on this side from the uh, uh, potential materials that could be loaded, select them and add the selected. Then you make save those changes and now I can select each model and make the various material assignments. One very nice feature that we have within GrabCAD is the ability to view the models in a disassembled state. <coughs> so now I can work on each model uh, individually and make the appropriate material assignments knowing exactly what's going on if maybe my uh, file names are a bit vague. So in order to move on to the material assignments we go to model settings and the first thing to do is to select a model on a tray. So here I have uh, the body of my model uh, with a material assignment for Agilus 30 clear. So in order to make that assignment I go to uh, tray materials from the drop down selection menu and we can simply click here on the Agilus 30 clear that is going to make that assignment. Uh, it's come out yellow because uh, the uh, Agilus material clear uh, at least from a, a visualization point of view looks identical to the uh, rigid clear material and the Agilus clear is a flexible material so just to highlight the differences on the tray uh, we have this yellow visualization. Moving on I have now uh, the start of a digital material uh, assignment. So this material the, uh, that I've assigned in the file name comprises of cyan, yellow and transparent. So I go here to my digital materials uh, input selection. We have the uh, cyan, cyan uh, yellow and we also had the transparent. Now this is a clear transparent, this is the Agilus 30 clear and then we had the um, uh, Shaw 70 selected so I can move along to uh, Shaw 70. The Shaw 70 is going to be a, uh, uh, a sort of semi-flexible type uh, material that is a mix of uh, of these and it was uh, CYT2 for the uh, Shaw 70 so here we are CYT2 uh, Shaw 70 and that's that assigned now moving on I can see is here the CYT1 now I can go back to this uh, selection and do the same thing but as a shortcut I can select this model, do copy properties and click on the new assignment that I wish to make and go paste properties and now I can very quickly go to my uh, CYT1 okay, and, uh, and change this so CYT1 it was uh, sure 50 for, uh, for this selection and I can simply click there to make that assignment. Now uh, moving on in, uh, in the next models this here again this is a CYT1 this is a different sure value so I can go paste properties and now I can go back here to make the uh, uh, adjustments 
very quickly and easily. Moving on to the next model in the list here we have uh, the uh, cap that is in the default uh, white rigid material and uh, ah this here this is a different material assignment uh, this is for the uh, Agilus 30 white material rather than a rigid white material which I didn't preload so we can go now on the fly and uh, let's say I don't need my rigid clear material because I'm using a flexible clear material so I can remove that material and my Agilus 30 white there and click save and that won't affect these other material assignments but here now I can go back to my tray materials and directly make this Agilus 30 white material assignment. The last model here is the uh, uh, coolant text fresh which we've got printed in a cyan vivid so we can go here to my Vero cyan vivid material. Now all that is uh, uh, left is for me to reassemble this model and I can carry out a part orientation I can go for optimize the part and arrange the tray and that will position the part uh, in the optimum orientation for pr printing time and support material usage and I want to change this model from the default uh, glossy or at least as I have it set up glossy to matte as I will be uh, uh, carrying out a light sand blast on this part afterwards to uh, get the desired finish and then uh, coating with a flexible varnish. So now we can go and carry out an estimate okay fantastic that part will be printed in uh, 2 hours 15 minutes and uh, we can now send the part to print uh, 